this world teaches us to do things by like a, a, a textbook, like recycled ideas and just do it. It never works. Everything you said so far, you come across, and I, know, I already kind of know this, is like someone who really wants to find out for yourself as opposed to listen to what anyone else is saying in some ways from what you're doing within rugby, what you do within the school, what you're mm. talking about with pure sport. Like you seem like you're wanting to find out the answer for yourself as much as you're listening to someone telling you that's not going to work. You want to know it's not going to work before mm. before you go further. Am I, am I right in saying that? Yeah, I think so. But it's all. I think it's like we're taught to not put ourselves out there or like mm. back ourselves, I feel. Interesting. Um, out of fear. Yeah. Like fear of failure. But like, what if you just knew you couldn't fail? Like you yeah. can't, like failure is a concept. Yeah, yeah. Like some of the greatest things in life have come out the back of what people would have labeled as a failure. Mm. Um, and My favorite is WD-40. You know the spray? Yeah. It's called WD-40 because it's the 40th attempt. And that's yeah. why it's called WD-40. Oh, stuff like that okay. is just that's little cool. things, you know, yeah. the light bulb, all that stuff is yeah. so true. And I think that you're completely right. And I, I completely agree with you that failure is just a weird thing that people are so f- afraid of yeah. talking about and discussing yeah. and, and even doing themselves. You know, yeah. they just always want to be successful. And yeah. and I think it's becoming more of a thing within social, et cetera, that people are starting to speak about the failures a bit yeah. more, have more of that conversation around those things. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I think the concept of failure is, is even just like the whole idea that failure, what it means, it's not real. Right. Like nothing's final. Yeah. And it might not be the way that you thought it would be or it might have to change in a whole different direction, but that's not a failure. No. Like, you're you're still who you are here and now in that present moment. But you're just stronger. Yeah, and I yeah, and like I think people fear fear things not happening the way they would like it or the outcome not going the way they would like it so much sometimes that it just stagnates them. Mm. Whereas I, if you speak to people that something completely hasn't gone to plan and what people call a failure, I would say if you question them how they felt in that moment within themselves of who they were, they would be like, I'm the same person. Yeah. I'm, I've still got the same capacity to live my life and enjoy my life and mm. express myself on the other side of what people are calling a failure. Yeah. And that's something unbelievably liberating. Mm. Like... You, you almost become like uh, indestructible and infinite because it's like, oh, something I feared so much th- as, and it seems so bad and that I really didn't want that to happen and now I'm here and then you're, and then you're like, fuck, I'm all good. Wow, now what can I do? Yeah. You know, and I learned that um, the thing I feared the most growing up was uh, my dad dying and when I was 21, my dad died and I went through the worst time because that was like the worst possible thing that could happen to me. And then I was kind of, I went down quite a dis- destructive sort of a path because I was like, fuck this world, man. Like took yeah. away the one thing that I never wanted to lose. And and then I remember one day I just woke up, I was like, man, like, hey, you can't live your life this way. Mm. And then And then I had this like feeling of just like peace and I was like, the, the thing you feared the most in life happened, but if you really look at yourself, you're okay. And then I, and then I, I just took that knowledge that I'm okay, that that could never leave me. Mm. Like even in amongst the time where like the thoughts were sad or the circumstances weren't good or the feelings weren't good, it wasn't a feeling. It was just the knowing. It was the background knowing of where the feelings and the thoughts and the perceptions were arising that that was okay Mm. and I was like oh that's who I am and the worst thing that I could ever dream of happening has happened and that's okay and that's who I am I'm just going to live from there and then and then I was like fuck that's 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 what people mean when they talk about resilience Mm. resilience isn't like a thought or a concept or an idea it's just the knowing that it's almost an action right it's almost partly an action of resilience in some way because you want to go through that process and go through those experiences to gain it, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think a kid is resilient and mm. they've not gone through really any experiences yeah, yet, like true. much. And and I think it's because they didn't have a concept of what they might lose or what's bad. You know, like yeah. a kid saying, perceive like they fall down and they hurt themselves. And then 
once that initial pain is gone, like the physical pain, they're like, yeah, I'm cracking on with life. Yeah. You know? Whereas as we grow, we get these concepts of, oh, that's bad, that shouldn't happen to you, and you hold on to the thought of that, and they layer up, and mm. you... I think our natural state of being is resilient mm. and free and creative. Uh, but so, so actually going through something really hard and difficult, it blows that concept apart Yeah, if you allow it to. Yeah. Otherwise, you just, if you don't allow, if you don't allow yourself to look inward to see that, no, you're actually good, you, you keep layering up concepts and you get further away from mm. your, your resilience and your peace and your freedom.